All right, hi guys. So now on to the inside of my Immortal Love Mini. Okay, I, I put some, some gray ribbon in here. Um, that's just so that she can tie it, you know, so it'll stay shut. Which, I mean, it's I'm surprised it stays shut right now, but when she starts putting pictures and stuff in it, um, it may not. So I like to always put a closure on my minis. And for this mini, I used a tutorial from my sister Scrapper um, from Ginger, and she just does a wonderful, wonderful job teaching this tutorial. Um, if I can remember, I'll link the I'll link part one to it's a five part series. Um, I think six, including the introduction. So I'll, I'll link the introduction to this video, and that way, if you want to follow this um, tutorial, then you can. And of course, I added a few things to it. But okay, so on the inside, um, I've got some tags for her. I just made a little pocket, and this is the paper with the moon. Um, this was a little scrap off of one of the cards that I'd cut off, and so I just created a pocket, and. I made some tags using the Sizzix, um, I think it's tags number three. Um, I just created some tags with that on, I did some in the, some of the scrap paper I had. And then the ones with pictures, I just did, it kind of looks white on camera, but it's like a light gray. And so I just downloaded a few pictures from online and, and stuck them on there for her. back in there later. Um, I tried to coordinate, well I'll show you later on, but on the front flap, whatever paper was here, I tried to coordinate on this side, except for, for of course, with the covers. So here I have a little um, a rosette that I made out of some old lace that I had found in my, my stash a while back. Um, and then I also used some ribbon that I've had for a while. A friend of mine gave me this. It's some really sheer brown ribbon. And then one of these little, it, they're actually like buttons. Um, these, I don't know if you can tell, these crystal looking roses. I just put that in the middle. And then I just added a little bit of bling. I don't like to embellish a whole lot because I don't want it to get in the way of the actual purpose, which is, you know, a photo album. Well, then this opens up. There's a magnet in there to keep it closed. It opens up and there's room for more photos here and here. And then there's a pocket and it pulls out and there's a photo mat. She can put photos on either side. And here's what I'm talking about, about the pages coordinating. Um, on the flaps, I used the cards. Um, I cut them down a little bit and, or no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I lied. Well, on this one, I had to cut it because this is a different type of pocket. But whatever card I used, I used the corresponding paper on the other side for the flat, fat back. <laughs> um, and this is a little rosette that Julie sent me. Um, she sent me three of them. And I used all three in this mini because they're just, they're perfect for this mini. Just this silver rosette with a leaf. And there's like little, um rhinestones on it and this it's also a flap it opens out and this paper matches this right here and then these little tags right here they I, I mismeasured a little bit and so they fit real snug in there I also used the the cards for the backing on these and then I used um my eyelet what is that called my crimp no oh my goodness what is that thing called? The, you know, the eyelet setter, um, and, uh, not the corner chomper, but the other one from We Are Memory Keepers. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, I put an, a little eyelet in there, and then this little bead trim right here is from some trim that Julie sent me. I, I made a lot of the stuff with the stuff that she sent me. I just cut it down and, and glued them on there, because t for the ribbon, I used my little, um, tiny toucher, Tim Holtz. Tiny toucher, so I used that to cover up the um, the little staples. Oh, let me turn that around. Well, I don't want to take up time by doing that. Um, and then it, you flip it over. You know, there's a mat also there, and that's the forever one with the ribbon on the back. Okay, and then. 
and then here's one where you know, yeah. um, so for the rest of the pocket pages what I did was I took the card and instead of cutting it down I just placed it over it just fit perfectly over here over the the flap so you open this up this paper matches this paper and then this side matches this side and I used another of those flowers that Julie sent me and a little bit of bling um, and then there's of course another pocket or photo mat in the pocket um, on this page I created another little um, little pocket from a strip of leftover paper and made her some more tags there's one of Edward and then just some from the, the paper some scrap paper I had in the from the collection And then another rose from Julie. And this is the the meadow, you know, from like the first movie where they're laying down holding hands. And then another pocket with a tag. This one says bitten. And on the other side is the big rose. Um, on this side, you've got just a scene for it's the background scene. I love this. This is the one that doesn't really, you know, match exactly, um, because these are two little pocket tags, or pocket page, tag pages, I guess you'd call them. But she can put photos here, and, and she can put a photo here, and on the back also. Um, these little tags pull out, and I used, I used my little, um, Ticket tag punch to do the corners on these. Same with these little tags right here. I also, you know, chomped the corners with with that thing. Um, so she can put photos on either side. I again used my um, my eyelet thingy <laughs> and put it in there. Put in an eyelet, and then this little um, ribbon is from. Let's see. It's some, some ribbon from Christmas time that I got, I want to say at Michael's maybe. I may have gotten it at Hobby Lobby. I, I don't know. I lose track where I get all this stuff. <laughs> and then these little um, rhinestones are from Julie. Part of the swap that we did. She sent this to me in a little bag of rhinestones and goodies and gems. So you flip this and flip this. So she can put pictures on either side if she wants. Um, the last page is it? Yeah, it's the last page. It's, again, it's another flap that opens up. Um, this was the first page I did, and I decided to put another photo mat on there. So that one's the one that says forever. From That's from the card, and this is the back side of the card, and I stuck that on there. And then this is another rosette that I made. Um, this is, the lace is from some lace that Julie sent me. And then I just used a piece of spare spare ribbon it's the really thin ribbon and again I I got this this is ribbon left over from my wedding I'm telling you I'm a hoarder I keep everything so <laughs> this was some ribbon that um we had used to tie to the, the money tree so people could tie money to it but no one did I don't think they understood what it was for <laughs> so I just used that and then this this is actually this big gem is actually a brad and I just snipped off the back and they're from Hobby Lobby um, so, and then I put some more bling on both, you know, sides. Um, it also has a photo mat in the pocket, and it's got the musical notes. I made that same. Um, I'll just leave this out. And then on the back of this last page, um, I made a little pocket. This was a piece of, um, of a card from the, the card collection. And I, so I stuck it on there, and it's loose at the top corner, but it's stuck down right about in here, and then around all the sides. Um, this little paper clip is from Tim Holtz. It's the little paper clips with the gems at the top. Um, so I just threw some tags on there from the, the paper collection. And these little tags came from my Tim Holtz um, mini tiny tabs and tags. So there's those, and then I made another little photo mat, and this is a picture of them dancing at her, her prom, and 
you know, with the apple from the very first movie. And then on the back, there's a picture, it's the wedding picture, and then you can kind of see that picture of that um, hair clip that, that she had got me for my wedding. And then this is a picture, you know, of Rob, Robert Pattinson playing the piano. Um, so I put that on, and she can cover these up. She doesn't have to keep these pictures showing. She can just feel free to cover them up. So let's stick that back in there. And then on the back is some more tags, and I made a little pocket with some leftover paper, and I can't get a hold of them with my fake nails. So that's the one with the apple in a pocket, and then I just made some, some more little tags for her with some pictures. And this one says, let's start with forever. I really like that. So that is my mini my immortal love mini for my sister-in-law and I really really hope she likes it I'm sure she will and um, she she loves things that I make so I'm, I'm sure she'll love this since it's kind of twilight themed but um anyway I hope everyone enjoys it please please leave me comments let me know what you think about it and everyone have a wonderful night thanks